May, I presented to the city attorney's office a letter requesting that they take a look at the process the city undertook in the ICMA Public Safety Report. Review that process and provide a full and complete report back to the city council. Right. That the city manager, while not mentioning Craig McCall by name, said the city manager had promised him months ago that the city of Prescott would always have a wild land division. Is that a correct statement? Again, I'm not going to comment to either Mr. Willis's resignation letter or to conversations that I wasn't a part of. What I'm asking today is that the city attorney's office look at the process and address these allegations. And where do you anticipate this going now? I expect that the city attorney's office will review this issue. Uh, I have indicated that I would support bringing in a third party should they desire the need to do so. And I will look for a report as quickly as possible from them. What kind of third party? It could be anyone, including uh, legal counsel, that the city may engage. I, that would be a difficult one to answer. But in the past, we have brought third parties in to facilitate this type of review. It's very noteworthy of you to stand out here and address the media and make the statements you're making. But do you have any support from your fellow council members on this issue? I haven't spoken individually to them because of the issues of open meeting laws. However, I think this council is interested in ensuring that the process has a strong basis to it. And I think ultimately they will be supportive of this review. Do you feel like you have the authority as the city attorney to ask for an investigation by the city attorney? For my letter, I'm not directing the city's attorney, city attorney's office to do a written review. I am requesting that they do a review. And I believe it's their prerogative to determine whether or not uh, they would seek council support for that or if they would move forward with the review per my request. Will you be addressing any questions of this nature to Fire Chief Light at the 9 o'clock Thursday, March 26th budget hearing of the council? I don't know yet. My hope is that they will have completed this review prior to that meeting. Okay, the um, report that Chief Willis mentioned in his letter, what, he said that the real report he had was dated March 14th. The council was not given a presentation until late August. That presentation in late August was given by ICMA. So any changes you would think were would have been sanctified by ICMA. Is that correct? I'm not, again, able to comment on that. What I'm asking for today specifically is the city attorney to shed light on this process, explain this process to us, and ensure that nothing inappropriate was done during this process. How involved were you in uh, uh, gathering of Very limited. Each council member had an opportunity to be interviewed by the ICMA representatives. Beyond that, this was a staff-driven process. And do you expect ICMA will be questioned regarding this investigation you're requesting? I would assume the answer is yes, but again, that is not in my prerogative. Let me ask you one, one other thing too, Council Arnold. Do you see any ulterior motive of any kind in the accusation made by Chief Willis that there had been tampering with the ICMA report? Unfortunately, I'm not willing to go there today. I want to see if these allegations have any validity to them, and I want to know that this report is something we can rely upon. Have you seen any copies of other drafts other than the one that you were presented in August? I have been provided a copy of a draft. I do not know who authored it, when it was authored, and if it was ever transmitted to the city. Anything you want to add? At this point, again, I think it's in the best interest of the city, and I think we owe it to the citizens to look at these accusations, determine their validity, and be able to move forward in making some important decisions about the future of our community in police and fire. The ICMA report with regard to the fire department has not yet been adopted by council, is that correct? Correct, this is a guiding document. It does not set policy. It gives recommendations and alternatives for staff to consider 
and to ultimately present to the council on how they want to proceed. I have faith in our police chief and fire chief. They're going to come forward with recommendations that may or may not be part of the ICMA report. But it is something that we had done. It's a piece of information that we need. And again, I want to make sure that these allegations are addressed. The ICMA report may be adopted in whole, in part. Some of it may be rejected, some accepted. Uh, it's up to the council to determine what fits with the city and what fits with the budget. Correct. And by asking for this investigation, you are not staking any kind of opinion on whether or not you believe the accusations or whether you don't believe them. You're just asking to have them verified or not verified. Is that correct? That is correct. And again, to shed light on the process. So there 